Hello, everyone. My name is Liang, and I'm from the infrastructure team of DD Chuxin. Let's get started. With the rapid development of artificial intelligence in these years, GPU plays a very important role and uh, is widely used. It has usually provided as a form of virtual machine instance by cloud service providers. For some technical reasons, creating a virtual machine with a, a pass-through GPU card is very slow, which is a common issue faced by all cloud service providers. Today, I will share you with the practice that how did it solve this issue. The agenda of my presentation contains the following parts. The first part is the background, and the second part will list the main issues slow down the creation of a virtual machine with a pass-through GPU card. The third part will give some details of the solutions, and then the effect of the optimization will be shown. The last part is the conclusion. In this topic, I will call a virtual machine without a pass-through PCI device as a CPU virtual machine, and a virtual machine with one or more pass-through GPU cards as a GPU virtual machine. Creating a CPU virtual machine instance is fast. It usually takes several seconds, while creating a GPU virtual machine instance with the same resource configuration is slow. It may take several minutes if the virtual machine has a large RAM. In most cases, virtual machine creation time is not critical. But in some interactivity scenario, a long virtual machine instance creation time means poor user experience and computing resource waste. Virtual machine creation time is defined as the time interval between QMU process start to execute and its guest curler start to run. It's divided into two parts. The first part is virtual machine initialization time, which is defined as a time interval between QMU process start to execute and the vCPU start to run. The second part is BIOS execution time, which is defined as the time interval between vCPU start run and the first guest curl log is printed. The chart in the right shows the creation time of different virtual machine instance before optimization. Some factors like virtual machine RAM size, the type of GPU card, and the count of GPU cards will affect virtual machine creation time. You will be curious about the reason for the long time it takes when creating a GPU via virtual machine instance. What slowed down the creation process? To find out the reason, we can use perf to get the hotspot functions of QMU process. The flame graph in this page shows the hotspot is in the core chain or core function, VFIO pin page remote. This page lists the main factors slowing down the virtual machine creation. The key factors is function VFIO pin page remote is slow. By debug, you will find some repeated VFIO DMA map and unmap for the same ILVA area, which makes sense worse. Besides that, PCI device reset, management 
metadata initialization in KVM and other is seniors configuration will slow down virtual machine instance creation. I will describe these factors in detail. For VFIO pin page remote, there are two main issues make it slow. The first one is zero out operation which is required when allocating pages for user space. Zero out the page content will make sure sensitive information invisible to user space. Because page allocated may have been used by other process of the kernel and has sensitive information retained. As a solution, we introduce a new feature called pre-zero out free page to speed up page allocation. The idea is simple. Zero out free pages in advance. Then when allocating pages, page, zero out can be skipped. The second issue is the VFIO DMA map P memory in a page by page way. This result in too many page table entries access. As a solution, pin memory in bulk is used to reduce the cost. For pre zero out free pages, it is based on free page reporting. Page zero out operation is done in a cold work thread. After page is zeroed out, set the page zero flag in the corresponding page struct. When page allocated needs to be zeroed out, check the page zero flag first. If it's set, zero out operation can be skipped. When pages are free, page zero flag is cleared and the zero out worker will be woken up. I have sent the RFC patch set to upstream you can find the imp implementation details with the link in this page. I will not talk more about it. To make VFIO DMA map P memory in bulk, we add two functions in kernel. They are get user city page and get user city page long term. They are corresponding to get user page and get user page long term. CT here means physical continuous. The new function will try to pin memory and get the information about a bark or physical continuous memory. The chart on the right shows the different behavior of the new function and the original one. The new function will be friendlier to function we address get PFN and make its life easier to pin memory in bulk. To take more benefits, huge page should be used. We FIO DMA map is inefficient. There are two reasons for this. The first one is the same IOVA map experienced as a map, unmap, and then remap procedure. It's unreasonable. To solve this issue, the mapped IOVA error information are retained in QMU to avoid unnecessary FIO DMA map and unmap operation. For the whole thing to work, we FIO IOMU on map DMA out control is only called when map of conflict IOV area. Conflict here means a new added IOV area, which is intersected with an already mapped IOV area, but not equals to it. 
The second issue is in efficient IOV area mapping update. For example, to change the attribute of a subregion of an IOV area which is already mapped, the whole IOV area needs to be unmapped first and then be mapped again. This will happen for an IOV area contains the address of one mega. As a solution, the IOV area is split into two parts. One part is below one mega, and the last part is above one mega. It can, pre it can prevent high part IOV area from being unmapped for modifications to the low part. For PCI device reset, one reset takes about one second, so it's a slow operation. There are two issues in QMU. The first one, a device was reset twice during virtual machine creation. One is in function QMU system reset, and the other one in VFIO group get device FD IO control. Reset twice is redundant. One of them can be removed. The second issue is PCI device reset operation are specifying, are, ser are serialized. If a virtual machine has more than one GPU cards, it will take more time to reset the device. Do the PCI device reset in parallel will be more scalable. And furthermore, make the PCI device reset in parallel with VFIO DMA map can maximize the benefits. For QM color model, there are some time consuming operations which can be optimized. Third page bitmap initialization is one of them. Virtual machine with pass through GPU does not support live migration currently. So, third page logging for a PCI bar specified MMI, MMIO range is useless, which can be skipped. When PML is enabled, set if he enters DBIT. It's a last time consuming operation. It uses reverse map to get the EPT entries for setting the DB. Crossing all the reverse map entries are time consuming if the virtual machine has a large RAM. During the virtual machine creation, most of the EPT entries are empty. So, Providing all the reverse map to find a few or effective EPT entries is not worse. This can be improved by making the reverse map crosser more efficient. For example, we can introduce a sparse bitmap mechanism, like HBitmap used in QMU, to skip the empty reverse map entries. In our environment, we use a lot of simple way to solve this issue by counting the effective reverse map entries. The reverse map entries for memory slot can be skipped if its effective reverse map entries count is zero. This is not an ideal solution, but it is a balance between the benefits and the development complexity. There are some configurations which will affect the virtual machine creation time. They are listed, below, uh, listed above. CBIOS boot manual has 2.5 seconds of timeout by default. Uh, if boot manual is unnecessary, please disable it. If Linux guest is used, 
scrub may configure a timeout for selecting different color. If it's unnecessary, please change it to zero. Luma memory parser will affect the speed of page allocation when some of the loads have memory pressure. So be careful with it. This page shows the cumulative process flame graph after optimization. You can find the hotspot we saw before has disappeared. And this page shows the accumulated time takes by some make cumulative functions. As you see, the time is reduced greatly after optimization. This page shows the GPU virtual machine instance creation time when different optimization method is used. Compared with CPU virtual machine instance, it takes a little longer. And uh, this page shows the creation time of a GPU virtual machine instance with one GPU card and uh, 48 gigabyte RAM. Before optimization, it takes about 38 seconds. After optimization, it only takes 3.3 seconds. The creation time is reduced by more than 90%. For GPU virtual machine instance with four GPU cards and 192 gig RAM, it is, is reduced from about two minutes to 4.4 seconds, which, is, which is, is reduced by more than 95%. The conclusion part, I have to point out words of optimizations are not limited to GPU virtual machine instance. They apply to virtual machine instance with other PCI pass-through device. And some of them apply to CPU virtual machine instance. About pre zero out free page, it has some limitations. Its current implementation is not friendly to huge TLB file systems. Extra work is needed for this case. And there is a call case. If the free page are not zeroed out in time, it may lose the effect of boosting things up. So it's far from perfect. Our solutions have some pros. The first point is transparent to guests. Nothing needs to be changed for guests. So it's more appropriate for public cloud environment. The second point, DMA operation in BIOS stage can be handled correctly. Other solutions based on parallel virtualization need some workaround to forbid the DMA operations in BIOS execution state. About the GPU virtual machine creation time, there is some, some, room, some room for further improvement. We find the Linux memory, mag memory management seems inefficient in device pass-through scenario. For example, all the features for page migration and uh, memory overcommits are useless in this case. So it's possible to make things simpler and more efficient is in our future play. One more thing, we will contribute our work to upstream. That's all for my presentation.
and uh, this is my email. If you have any question which I can't answer online, you can send an email to me. Thanks. Bye-bye.